The roots of Ryan's family tree are planted firmly in Cardiff. He spent much of his early childhood playing on these streets, around the home of his grandparents, Dennis and Margaret Giggs, who still live here. It's Ryan Giggs, my grandson, first and foremost. But I'm very, very proud of Ryan Giggs, the footballer. When he was young, my daughters used to say, Ryan would come in the room and I'd say to him, what's the matter? And he'd look at me and he used to say to me, you and Ryan can communicate just by eyes, just by looking. I always knew what he wanted. Um, but oh, he's, he's the light of my life. I'm very proud of him. Um, and, and being a football fan, to go and see your, your grandson achieve what he's achieved and play at the highest level, and uh, oh, very, uh, very proud of him. But he got to win at everything, right? <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> even when he was little he, tiddly winks. He was very uh, quiet. He liked to play football, and if he didn't have a football, as his nan will tell you, he'd be in the room and he'd be kicking the skirting board. No, not actually kicking no, it. No, no. He'd uh, be his feet and he'd be just skimming it. The, the, just skimming it. He could never keep still. Yeah. He used to like to sit at the table. 11 o'clock, and he would have our 11 season, he'd be dipping his biscuits in. But no, he was quite quiet, really. He really was quiet. He wasn't a rowdy child. I mean, when Rodri and Ryan were together, naturally they're boys, they'd play games and they'd be laughing and, uh, wouldn't they, and all yeah, sorts yeah. like that. But, um, but no, they weren't naughty boys. Ryan grew up in South Wales with the surname Wilson, from his dad, Danny who was a talented rugby union player with both Newport and Cardiff. Footage of Danny in his prime reveals more than a passing resemblance between father and son. The electric pace, the body swerves, and the ability to bemuse the opposition in a single step are all evident. In 1980, Danny signed for professional rugby league club Swinton in Manchester. It meant Ryan, his mum Lynn, and brother Rodri had to leave Wales. It proved to be a traumatic time. I was seven and um, didn't want to didn't want to move. You know, I was was really close to my grandparents. You know, all my family were there. Um, didn't want to go. It was awful. It, it really was. I broke my heart. I'd speak to Ryan on the phone, and in the beginning, he wasn't really happy. But um, I don't think he's glad he did now. <laughs> We did go back to Wales quite a bit for the next couple of years. Every sort of weekends or every school holidays, we were on the train and we were going back. Then when I did go back, it was hard to, to go back to, to Manchester. So it was hard, but um, obviously glad I did it. This is my first house when I moved from uh, from Cardiff to to Manchester. Has it changed a bit since then? It's changed a bit, yeah. A few extensions. Um, <laughs> uh, garden's a lot nicer. Um, we didn't have a wall, so it's changed a little bit. But these used to be the goals here, where me and our kids used to play. The goals over there as well. So we play two touch, and um, obviously have to stop every two minutes. Cars going past, but um, yeah, this is where. Um, Used to play in until the street lights come on there to get in. <laughs> he's tired to get on, isn't he? Frederico, he's tired to get on. Why do you still live in and around this area, though? Now. Um, well, not, a lot of the lads live south of Manchester, but you know I've grew up in the area, and um, it's where all my mates are. Where I'll get my babysitters, <laughs> my mum and Stacey's mum. This is where they live, so um, it's obviously easier in that respect. So um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think of leaving now. You know, people are used to seeing me, so you know people tend to leave you alone and and leave you to your privacy. And the proper people around here, you know, they're just. You know, take you as you are, really. <laughs> 